Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Gary's Mod and a happy Halloween to everyone. In order to really celebrate the holiday, we gotta look at something super spooky. So I have five different horror maps that I think all of you need to check out before the holiday ends. And the first map we're gonna take a look at today is called Break In. So in this map, you wake up, your parents have left to do things in which no one really knows what, but you have chores to do and you need to get downstairs and start cleaning. Now, you have certain deeds you have to do on the fridge and you'll find that you have to clean the bathroom, the kitchen, pick up things in your bedroom, and of course, do the laundry. Now, the thing I like about this map is you actually do have to go and do these things. You have to pick up things, put them in other things. You actually have to pick up a sponge to clean things. It's really cool. It's honestly really interactive and I like the perspective from the child's point of view however this is a horror map not a chore map and you'll notice that after doing a few chores things start to get a little weird you might even hear a knock on the door and don't let the stranger in of course but you'll also find that after doing all of these chores He'll make his way in regardless if you want him to or not. Once shit hits the fan, there's nothing that can really save you. And let's just say you better find a closet to hide in. Overall, this is a really cool map and it's pretty short, but I love the interesting take on horror from the, again, child's perspective of having to clean and then things just slowly go awry. So definitely check this one out if you want a different take on a horror map. This was one of my favorites personally and I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Next up we have Haunted Hotel. This map will find you in, well, a hotel. You'll come out and you'll realize something is off. And this is a map that really requires you to investigate and to adventure. This is a grand map indeed. And after the 20 something minutes of me playing it, I don't think I was even still finished with it, but definitely put some time into this map because it gets better as you go. There's news of a killer in this hotel at the end of the hallway. Once you end up going into his room, well, horror strikes and you find that this is not your average hotel room. You pick up the bathroom key and you enter the somewhat unrealistically elongated bathroom. You start to hear really creepy noises from behind you and eventually things just start to get worse and worse. You find a dead body and it all just escalates from here on out. This one has a lot of mystery in it and a lot of heart, so definitely give this one a try if you like mystery horror games. Also, there's quite a few jump scares as well. Will you solve the mystery of the hotel? And will you find the killer before he finds you? Definitely check it all down below. Once again, really, really cool map. Very well made. The models look great and the story's well put together. It's in Russian as well as English and you might even see some creepy lady. So have fun with this one. Next up, we go into an abandoned Sears. And this is really important to me. This one hit home to me because I've always hated the idea of malls being abandoned or being in one, of course. And I mean, Sears isn't always a mall, but it's usually connected to one. And here we have a massive Sears store that has, of course, been long abandoned. And you start off by, of course, picking up your trusty flashlight and your handy crowbar. Once you pick these things up, you'll have to bust your way into the Sears store. And upon entering, you'll find very creepy things on the wall that make you not really want to go any further. But you should because there is a great mystery to be found here. So of course it being abandoned, you're not really going to see a whole lot upon entering, but oh boy. Everything from the creepy child laughing from Half-Life to of course the infamous, very creepy Half-Life 2 radio. All of this is included and it just sends shivers down your spine as you enter this seemingly empty Sears store. 
This one is a bit of a puzzler. You'll have to find certain things to activate, like say a generator, you need to get gas, you'll need to get like keys and things like that. And eventually you'll have to get fuses to turn the power on. So overall, a really in-depth map that's going to take quite a bit of your time. So really invest some in this. If you like abandoned things, this will scratch that itch most definitely. Next up, we have a true puzzler map. And this one is called Entropy. So you're going to start out in a caged room alone with another guy, I guess. Let's just say he's not as lucky as you were. But you'll see headcrabs on the other side and you need to get over there somehow. So using your wits, you'll have to use the props and of course the items that they give you to find a way through the map. My advice is look up. If you're ever stuck, just look up. There has to be something there that makes sense. Utilizing things like explosive barrels or batteries to ignite flames, you'll eventually find your way through to the end of the map. And I gotta say, I really, really did enjoy this map. There's even a respawn mechanic, so if you do eventually die, you can just come back to where you were and not have to start the whole thing over again. So, genius, genius idea. You will have to have Half-Life 2 Episode 2 installed to see everything. There's a few minor jump scares here and there, but nothing too crazy. Overall, it's a really enjoyable map. Some of the puzzles are really elaborate, like having to use this conveyor system to ignite this barrel just before it goes into the barnacle, and then you can finally get it through to the end and blow up the door. It seems the puzzles only get more and more complex the further you go, so once again, if you like to jog your mind with great puzzles, this is the map for you. And of course, we gotta end it off with the final map, and oh boy, is this a silly one. You start out in a cabin with some very strange music playing. Um, I couldn't really make out what it was all about, but once you do eventually leave the cabin and head towards the back, you'll start to see... Things get a little weird. Yes, that's the Among Us guy. Also, someone dumped a log. <laughs> Eventually, going out, you'll see something fall in. What the hell was that? Well, that is the primary antagonist of this map, and he'll be following you around throughout this strange map. A boot spawns with a farting sound. And let's just say that's probably the least weirdest thing that happens, but going into the room, you'll see... He's always there. This one does require a little bit of puzzling, but not really a whole lot, because eventually, you'll find your way through. But sadly, you'll also find that you are cornered. And trying to figure out how to get out of this room is, well, puzzling to say the least, until he eventually gets you. You'll see him in a room staring at you. So the primary goal, of course, is to escape from this creature because he is trying to harm you and... Yeah, the, the weird things that happen... I, I don't even really know what this map is, guys. This map is weird as hell. <laughs> but really, give this one some attention. Honestly, I spent more time than I thought I would on this, but it's just... It, it, it grabs you. There's always an event happening right around the corner. So if you like goofy maps, I had to include a goofy horror map in this one, so let me know what you think. And that is five maps that you need to check out for Halloween. So I hope you guys have a fantastic Halloween. Sorry it's been like four days since I've done a video, but I'll be doing more in November, so get ready. Thank you guys once again. Leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. All the links to all the maps are down below. And leave a comment, let me know what you thought and what you want to see in the next one. As always, thanks for watching and farewell.